Hey guys, this is my tutorial on how to paint the Games Workshop Rohan Palisade and Watchtower. If you follow it, you should be able to make something like this. Once constructed, you might need some green stuff to fill in some of the gaps here. And also for the flooring on the watchtower and the bell as that came in two halves and then the rope that attaches the belt and then prime everything here I did a light grey and once that's dry you will need to paint everything in brown this is equivalent to a Monfang brown but I just used some generic paint for that and also paint the entire watchtower as well and then you should have something that looks like this once that's done, you can either use Zendari dust or I created my own just using these different colors and um, did quite a heavy dry brush. So I got a big bristled brush and uh, pushed quite hard and had a, a decent amount of paint on for this. And do the same to the watchtower for the wood. And it should look like this. After that, mix grey and white together to make a, a very light grey. And we'll do a light dry brush for this one. So take off most of the excess paint on the brush and give it a, a light dust of light grey. After this, take Nong oil and wash everything that's just been done. So uh, you need to water it down a little bit, but I just did it this way to save a bit of time. But you can mix it beforehand and then coat the walls and the watchtower like this. And then that's the result. After this, take some white and do a light dry brush of all of the corners of the spikes so any part that's been chopped so that means the edges of all of these as well and the ones on the side as well and do the same to the watchtower and then you want to apply the same kind of technique to the horse head so it looks like they've been painted. So dry brush each side of the horse heads and that will be the result. So next we'll want to take flesh shade wash, give it a good shake and this will create the effect of weathering on the wood. So at the bottom of the, the palisade and the watchtower I just add a little bit of watered down wash and that creates kind of the illusion of dirt um, coming up off the ground. And then next take your Agrax Earthshade and I just apply a little bit on the top of each of the spikes and the, the white areas where we uh, painted earlier. Now take Xandri Dust and paint all the ropes on the Palisade. Next take brown to uh, paint the dirt below the palisades. You can use Monfang brown here again. And when that's dry, take your sandry dust and do a dry brush of that on the dirt. I just do the same colors for all my miniatures so they all match. Next take Nong Oil and go back to the ropes that you painted and add some of the shadows for that. And then get Lead Belcher and do the hinges on the gate. Don't add too much paint down that 
gap so it can't open and close. And then use the same paint to paint the bell on the watchtower. Next, I use flesh shade wash to give the uh, the hinges the look of rust. So I apply that on the top and let it pull on all of these parts. Don't go too thick, you might need to take a little bit off just until you get your desired look. And then later, not in this video, I applied some silver scratches. And now for the bottom of the palisade dirt area, I have some flock and some tufts. Some of them I just cut a bit smaller because it's a very small area and then just use white glue to stick those on. I tried to use tufts that match the, the Rohan uh, scenery. Then take Nong oil and use that to add some shading to the bell and also the rope attaching it. And then I made a combination of Mornfang Brown and Zandri Dust for the rope on the ladders. The wood on these was just painted using the same technique as the Palisades. And then here I printed out some banners for the, for the Palisade wall. Uh, I just Google searched Rohan banners and printed them out the size I wanted. And then just use white glue to stick one on each side of the gate. And this is everything complete. I'm pretty happy with how realistic it looks. It's got an undertone of brown with mainly kind of grey natural look to it. If you're planning to do this technique, make sure you have some spare time. It took quite a few hours to do this, waiting for all the washes to dry and things, and having such large surface areas on the palisades uh, meant I spent quite a few nights working on this. But yeah, here's some photos of it in gameplay. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.